Here's the deal. I reached out to a couple of my photography friends, told them, hey, send me five photos, the raw version and your edited version. I'm gonna throw them into Lightroom, edit them in my style, and then compare the before to your edit to my edit. For this episode, I'm gonna be editing some photos that I got from my friend Olivia Nordland. Her Instagram handle is this. So go ahead and follow her on Instagram. So let's get started. All right, it's time to edit some photos. Here we go. So this first photo she sent me is her sister, Annie Nordland. Here's what I wanna do. I want to give this a really dark, kind of moody tone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drop the exposure until I get the grass kind of where I want it to be, right there. Um, and then I'm gonna come down here to the tone curve. Ooh, yeah, like that. And then this up a little bit. Awesome, right there. I'm gonna pull some fade. Ooh. Awesome, and then I'm gonna come down to my colors. I want this jacket to be a little more orange. So I'm gonna go to hue and take my yellows towards orange. Ooh, that's already really cool. One more thing with the color. I'm actually going to go here. I'm gonna paint on an even more exaggerated color. And I'm gonna find some random orange color. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, I like that. Paint that out of the whole coat. That looks really cool. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and grab a radial filter that around her face, rotate it a little bit, and drop the exposure even more. Awesome, boom. That right there is a finished photo. Here's the original. Here's Olivia's edit. And here is my edit. All right, moving on to photo number two. We have a really cool photo of a man, an old man, playing some sort of guitar-like instrument. Really cool photo, I really like this blur on the right side. Just my initial thoughts looking at the photo, I kind of want to just desaturate it, make it look vintage. So what I'm gonna do is first of all warm it up and then I'm gonna drop the exposure in general, remove some saturation, increase the vibrance a little bit, and then I'm gonna put a tone curve in here, bring down darks, bring up the highlights, and then add some fade to make it look nice and vintage. Sweet, that looks really good. And then I'm gonna come down here and add some grain into this photo. I'm gonna do something like that. And then the last thing I will do to this photo is go in my colors. I wanna desaturate those grains a little bit. Desaturate the greens, desaturate the yellows. Put a radio filter on this boy, just on the subject like that, and then drop the exposure around him. All right, there's photo number two. Here is the original. Here is Olivia's edit. And here is my edit. All right, next photo. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, so this is Signy. This is one of our friends. And you can tell she's throwing some rose petals. I really like how the shutter speed was fast enough to catch the petals, but slow enough to make them still blurred. This is a really cool photo. What I wanna do this photo is, I don't know, let's just start messing around. So first of all, I'm just gonna mess with the exposure. Okay, actually that's pretty well exposed how it is. I'm gonna mess with the warmth, make it a little warmer, and then throw on a tone curve. Right there, right there, add a fade. Nice, all right, I really like this so far. The next thing I wanna do is drop the saturation, increase the vibrance. Then I'm gonna come down to my colors and start messing around with my colors a little bit. I want these purple flower petals to be a little bit brighter. So in my color, I'm going to pull the magentas all the way to the right, and then I'm going to go to luminance and make my magentas brighter. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I want to remove some of the greens and yellows from this photo. And then I'm also gonna take the luminance down on the yellows. Just kidding, that looks garbage, not doing that. I am gonna add a radial filter around her face to really accentuate the focus. And I am gonna drop the exposure subtly. All right, there's my finished edit. So here is the original photo. Here is Olivia's edit. And here is my edit. Next photo. Okay, so looking at this photo, really like it, really like 
the ocean. As you can see, there's different tones of kind of green aquas and really dark blues in the water. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to this photo that I already edited and I'm gonna make a preset out of that. And I'm just gonna call it Vintage California. And I'm gonna put that on this photo and see how that looks. Okay, so I like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna increase the saturation. And the next thing I wanna do is go to my colors. Like I said earlier, I wanna desaturate those greens. Okay, um, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paint on, first thing you're gonna tell me is that it's way underexposed, which is very true. And then that is way too bright. We don't want it that bright. Um, so I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna just mess around and see what looks good here. I like that tone. And then I'm just gonna mess around with the saturation. So I can obviously really saturate it or bring it down to right about there. Yeah, does that look good? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, next I'm gonna grab this filter and I'm going to pull up from the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the warmth. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a line filter down from the sky, drop the exposure just barely. And the last thing I would do on this photo is maybe just play around with the color of the water. I don't know if I'm in love with the color of the water. Maybe right about there. Okay, I'm liking that for the water. I don't know, maybe I leave the sky desaturated. Maybe I leave it looking kind of stormy in the sky. Okay, I think I'm done. Just kidding. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna change a couple things. I think I'm gonna bring up the exposure on this portion of it to there maybe. And then I'm gonna actually bring up the exposure on everything there up like that. This is looking better. And then do the same thing to this paint of water. Yes, okay, now we're coming together. Okay, now we're looking like a beach. Boom, there, I think that's it. Here's the original. Here's Olivia's edit. And here is yours truly. Last photo, guys. Okay, this one is super cool. I had an idea for this photo. I think this photo would look really cool with that same moody vibe from the first photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make a preset off of this one. I'm gonna call it Moody Portrait. I'm gonna come back to this photo and I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Ooh, I really like that. So if I bring the warmth down, you can see this, the, the blue in the sky starts coming back. And so I'm gonna bring this to where I like the sun warmth. I'm gonna paint the sky and I want to see what it looks like a little less exposed and a little colder. Oh, Oh, okay, so as you can see, this is really cool. What it's doing is that it's adding blue where there is blue and leaving the whites white. I really like that, how it's a mixture of really cold sky and really warm sun. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a radio filter around her face. I'm gonna bring up the exposure till her face is just subtly brightened. And then I'm gonna increase the warmth as well. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a dope photo. Again, here is the original. Here is Olivia's edit. And here is my edit. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, shout out to Olivia Nordland. Again, here's her Instagram handle. Please follow her. She's an amazing photographer. Also one of my best friends. We go to college together. Used to go to college together, I guess. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.